all this together all for one. Damn, that was so long ago. Troy, can we talk? Hey, Dad, what's up? You haven't been there for your Wildcats. Get your head in the game. You just don't get it. I want to be a YouTuber. Come on, who do you think you are? Jesse James West? We're all in this together. Gabriella, not now. It's not your scene. Whatever. She's always doing that. He's a commando, ninja, a force of nature rising. What's going on, everyone? Jesse James West here. I hope you are having a fantastic day. Tomorrow, I don't know if I will be saying the same because I'm going to be living the day in the life of Zac Efron. We're going to eat like him. We're going to train like him. We're going to live like him. And that involves eating practically no carbs. So I don't really know how I feel about that. I'm going to go inside and shovel down probably a whole box of cereal to kind of make up for it. But if you're new to the channel, welcome. I'd really appreciate it if you scroll down and hit that subscribe button and drop a like if you're feeling generous. I'm going to catch you guys in the morning. Make sure you guys comment down below who else you want me to live like for 24 hours. And uh, I'll make that happen. Let's go. I'll see you in the morning. This is gonna have me as shredded as Zac Efron. You bet your ass I'm getting up this early. I can't even open my eyes. I'm having PTSD of the Mark Wahlberg video. At least it's not 2.30 in the morning. This shit was insane. As you see, there's the time. So we're about to whip up meal number one and get into his entire day. This is what Zac did while getting ready for Baywatch. It's what he ate, how he trained, and it's how he lived. So we're gonna do the similar thing. We're gonna do it just like him. And we're gonna start off with meal number one. I'm also whispering because my family's asleep. Okay, so for breakfast, we're having four eggs, which is normal breakfast food, you think. It's perfect. Then we have six ounces of grilled chicken, kind of crossing boundaries. And then we have some vegetables with nothing on it, no coffee. I'm very curious to see what we have in store today. I'm pretty sure there's like no carbs. My body's gonna start hitting withdrawals in about an hour. It's just so bland. No, it's nothing spectacular. I'll just say that. We just finished up meal number one. It was not bad. It actually tasted pretty good. It was a little bit bland. He could use some hot sauce or something, but I don't know. Maybe that's the key of getting shredded. Ask Zach, not me. The next order of business is to text our girlfriend, good morning. And no, not my girlfriend, Zach Efron's girlfriend. Vanessa Hutchinson, you know, Gabriella from High School Musical. I think that'll suffice. I'll let you know if she answers. I'm also supposed to have some avocado for breakfast and the total macros for this meal are gonna be 66 protein, only seven carb and 25 fat. Zach basically eats no carbs. I've never done a diet like this. It's gonna be extremely interesting. I'm curious when withdrawals are gonna hit hardest. For now, we'll enjoy our oh so beautiful avocado and then we'll go smash a workout. We are now gonna get into today's workout. It's gonna be a great one, and it's one that I actually would probably do myself. Now, Zach does push-pull legs, which is a training split where you do chest, triceps, shoulders on one day, the next day you do back, biceps, and then the last day you do legs. Today, we're gonna be doing the back and bicep workout. It's actually very similar to what I would do personally. It's a little bit different, and I'll go over that during the workout. A lot of celebrities do some weird workouts, and honestly, I don't like them at all, but this one is actually doable. I'm actually gonna enjoy this one, and I'm actually gonna get something out of it and that's why I'm excited for this one when Zach was getting ready for Baywatch he really lifted heavy lifted often and his diet was on point so we're gonna make sure that we're doing everything to a T that he did when it comes to eating and training especially so this workout consists of weighted pull-ups barbell deadlift barbell row barbell curl dumbbell hammer curl and zonovan curl it's super basic super simple and it's a good choice of exercises that we are gonna demolish so let's see how long I last in the gym because I don't have any carbs in my system. Hopefully it's more than three minutes because that's not really usual. Not see that. Back out fresh on the scene, franchise best 
just on the team Blue faces busting out the scene New life is something like a dream Back out fresh on the scene Franchise best on the team Blue faces busting out the scene New life is something like a dream New life is something like a dream New life is something like a Holy crap. As you see, I am drenched. That actually was a phenomenal workout. Most celebrity workouts do not feel like this, and I don't get the best pump from them. But this was a really like bodybuilding style workout. He puts on a ton of muscle getting ready for Baywatch. So that's probably why he did this style of working out. It matches what I did. So actually, I got a really good workout in today. We're gonna save abs for later because we have to do probably a billion sit ups to look like him. So now we're gonna go shower up, and then we'll get into the next portion of Zach's day and what he would do. Gabriella, I love you. Wildcats. I'm never gonna make it. So for the next order of business, we are gonna do some outdoor stuff. Now, if you didn't know, Zach was on the show Bear Grylls Man vs. Wild. So we're gonna try to challenge ourselves to do some similar things that he did on that show. Because hell, if Zach can do it, so can I. We're gonna climb things. We're gonna spend an entire week out here in the forest. So let's get in the woods and get moving. The first thing we need to do is fully immerse ourselves into water. Kids, don't try this at home. No, I'm not going naked. 7 a.m., no better way to wake up. Oh, f Oh, God. Oh, my God. Ah! Oh, oh. Why did we not do this last? Now I have to do this whole challenge soaking wet and freezing. We are one with nature. Hopefully Bear Grylls and Zach approve. All right guys, we're about to climb this entire monstrosity of a wall because you know, we gotta keep it Bear Grylls style. Now this is the second most intense cardio that I've ever done in the morning. And I think you know what I'm talking about for number one. But let's be real, that only happens once a year if I'm lucky. If I fall to my death, at least subscribe. Zach, you passed Bear Grylls, and Jesse passed Bear Grylls. Let's give you at meal number two. Stepping the right thing Or should I been a little bit more focused on the place that my feet needed to go And as they go past me, I see the last me that I ever will be and welcome back to another edition of Jesse's Kitchen And today we're going to be cooking up Zac Efron's meal number two And it is magnificent Bring in that camera So what Zach has for his second meal is one cup of steamed vegetables Woohoo! Then we follow that with the protein source and it is six ounces of lean ground turkey. As you see, this is an extremely bland meal. We're gonna leave it bland. This dietitian plan doesn't say anything about putting anything good on it. Zach, you need to up your up your game, bro. Eat some better food. Hmm. Let's dive in. Let's do this in style. We also have a side of hot green tea. I've never been a tea person, but we're gonna try it out. I didn't even put bother putting slow-mos of this stuff because honestly, this is so bland and so boring. I don't even think it's gonna look that good. I'm gonna give it a solid six out of 10. Nothing beats healthy food. It definitely needs some seasoning, but I know it's good for you, so it'll get the job done. Last bite, best bite. So the macros on that meal was 35 grams of protein, 12 grams of carbs, which is nothing, and then 19 grams of fat. Zach is still not having any carbs. I don't know why. It's more about calories in, calories out to be shredded. But if that's a diet that works for him, I guess it'll work for us for the end of the day. And I'm gonna see how it keeps going. I'm gonna check in with you guys later on how I'm feeling. I'm not feeling that hungry. I don't really crave any carbs, so I'm very curious on how that's gonna end up. So now it is time that we try to make our appearance more similar to Zach than ever before. Which means we need to tan, because goddamn this guy was so tan in Baywatch. I gotta catch up. I'm a little orange, but we gotta get to the next level, so let's kill our skin cells. The funny thing is that you guys actually ask me how I get so tan. I tan for like 20 minutes a day. I don't know if Zach's tan was real or not, but by doing this, we're gonna enhance the tan, take things up a notch. I think it's safe to say that I got enough sun for the day. All right, now this does not have to do with Zac Efron, but I want to say thank you guys to everyone who ordered the Dubs Company hats. We sold out in a matter of three days, and I'm going to probably restock really soon. If you want to see me restock it, make sure you guys follow at Dubs Company on Instagram to support me. I truly appreciate it. And also, I'm launching a new website. Merch, Dubs Co., training plans, and even some nutrition plans. So stay tuned. Stop playing with my mind. I'm losing everything inside. Moving on to 
meal number three, we got some sirloin steak. We're gonna do six ounces and we're gonna weigh it out, be nice and accurate. If you guys are curious about how to track your macros better, click the eye in the corner and I have a video on that. And then we got some cooked cauliflower, which is super low in calorie. And this is cooked in coconut oil. That way you get a little bit more fats. Keep it consistent, little to no carbs again. Yes, it might be simple, it might be plain, but I actually feel very, very good. I don't feel so clouded and I don't feel sluggish eating less carbs. I actually feel better than I normally do. And I haven't even been having coffee all day, so I don't know what that means, but we're gonna roll with it. That meal was definitely my favorite out of all of them. It had the most taste, most flavor, and I actually very full after that. It was very dense. We got 44 grams of protein, two carbs, and 17 fat. I have never had this little of carb in my entire life, so it's honestly insane that I feel really good. I don't know, maybe this is something to think about when it comes to my diet. There is no such thing as a best diet possible for fat loss or gaining muscle. I think that there is what works for you and what you enjoy and what you like and what you can do for a long time. So I'm definitely gonna start thinking about uh, lowering my carbs maybe, maybe. I may eat too much sugar-free syrup for me to drop my carbs that much. Damn, Zach, you're looking so good. Oh shit. All right, so we're gonna hop into Zach Efron's personal ab workout. Now I got this from his YouTube channel. He was doing it with his co-star Alexandria Daddario or something like that. I'm sorry if I butchered your name, but hit me up if you're watching this. As you see, we don't have a model behind me that to work out with. So we are gonna just make shift and work out alone. No big deal, I'm used to it. Let's go into the first exercise. It's gonna be called a hollow body. It's basically a dead bog and I'll show you how to do it. You're gonna lift your arms like this, pull your hips in, and then you're gonna do a rep, lifting your legs all the way up. Oof. This is really hard. What the hell? Is it? Ah. Give me that Baywatch bot. It'll help me get a girlfriend. We hope. That concludes exercise one. That lit up the entire abs. Now we're gonna go into some weighted Russian twists. All right. So if you ever noticed, Zach has. Insane obliques. And that comes from doing a lot of twisting motion. Zach is a big, big believer that you have to make sure your diet is on point and you're lean, and that is true. Abs are revealed in the kitchen, but abs are built in the gym. No carbs, two workouts. I think I can play Zach's stunt double. What do you guys think? All right, the next one he does with a partner, so we're gonna do it alone. Like I said, we don't have a supermodel with us. One day we will, hopefully. Form a rep, grab the weight, go back, do it again. Zach, you truly know how to work out or your trainer tells you how to properly work out because I love these workouts. Let's get the next meal and recover. Awesome, just what I needed. More meat in my mouth. So we're rocking a salmon bowl. I put it in a bowl. Get over it, Zach. Honestly, it's not that bad. Nah, never mind. I changed my mind. Could be user error. Could be Zach's meal plan. Fun fact, I actually caught this salmon while doing the bear grills earlier this morning when I was in that river. We're gonna miserably eat this. Oh. Last bite, baby. Meal number four, down the hatch. Not too shabby of a meal. It tasted decent, I'm not gonna lie. The steak was the best by far. This is very bland and pretty gross. Definitely need some carbs by now. I'm still not craving carbs. I still feel full of energy. Now it could just be a placebo. I don't know, maybe I'm a hypochondriac. Could be Zach's diet. It's pretty good. And I'm not really that hungry either. Protein for that was 66 grams, carbs was two and then fat was 25 so once again super high protein and super high fat honestly there's a first for everything am i right guys we got one more meal and i'm so excited to get this in if you guys are still watching i would truly appreciate if you scroll down and hit the subscribe button it means the world to me we're growing this family together so i'll catch you guys for the next meal oh, what's up guys it's nine o'clock we're gonna cook up the last meal Ooh, i'm exhausted but i have an idea of what's gonna fix that this guy is gonna fix the problem, but I lost my mustache, so we're just gonna pretend that there's something there. We are gonna cook up some grass-fed Angus beef right here, bad boy. It's grass-fed, it's real. Then we're gonna cook up three hard-boiled eggs, and then we're finally finished. It's been a rough ride, but we're gonna cook this up, make it through the challenge, 
finish strong. Well, well, well. We made it this far, we might as well go all the way. We're gonna give ourselves a little bit of a dopamine rush and check out my new MacBook Pro, the Magic Mouse, and AirPod Pros. For all of a sudden, there's a giant hole in my wallet. I don't really understand why, but hell, we're gonna make some more banger videos because of this. My old dinosaur of a Mac is completely crashed on me, so. So cheers to a good buy of $3,000. Do me a favor and hit the subscribe button. I could really use the financial support. Three eggs and some ground beef. We're gonna demolish this, and I'll catch you guys after. And ladies and gentlemen, there she is. All the calories that I ate today, all the macros I ate today are on the screen. God damn, I ate so much protein. I have never eaten that low of carb, ever. I feel super good. My energy was steady throughout the day. I'm tired as hell now, it's getting later, but that's probably because I got up super early. But that is what it is like to live just like Zac Efron. We worked out like him, we did things he loved, we trained like him, and we caught wild fish in a river doing Bear Grylls things just like him. Overall, I'm gonna rate his diet a five out of 10. It needs some work. There are definitely ways that you can amp that up and make it a lot better. I mean, Zach, just check out my videos, check out Greg Doucette. His workouts, nine out of 10. Uh, the only thing I would add is a little bit more volume, but honestly, I can't complain. That's me wrap on today's video. If you enjoyed it, please hit that subscribe button. It means the absolute world to me. Hit the like button if you're feeling generous. And if you're one of my best friends, you'll turn on post notifications and we'll be best friends forever. So thank you guys. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Comment down below who else you want to see me cover on a full day living just like them. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.